allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Kennedy and Brandon, and I'm Brandon, and we're with WHPES News. And now for your five-day forecast. On Friday, we have a high of 46 and a low of 32 with 15 mile per hour winds. On Saturday, we have a high of 46 Fahrenheit and a low of 32 Fahrenheit with winds of up to 11 miles per hour and it's partly cloudy. And then on Sunday, we're gonna have a high of 61, so hooray, and we can get outside now. And we're gonna have an, a low of 41 and it's going to be uh, it's going to be partly cloudy with 17 mile per hour winds. Monday, get your raincoats because it's going to be partly cloudy with a slight chance of rain, with a high of 55 Fahrenheit and a low of 34 Fahrenheit, and winds up to 20 miles per hour. On Tuesday, we start to, we start to go back cold again, where we have partly cloudy of the high of 48 and a low of 28 with 20 with 12 per, mile per hour winds. And that's your five day forecast. <laughs> Mr. Coop is here, and we're going to interview him about being the new third grade teacher at Henry Puffer Elementary School. Thanks for being here, Mr. Coop. Oh, no problem. Do you enjoy being a teacher at Henry Puffer School? Absolutely. Why? Well, that's a that's a kind of a loaded question, but in a good way. Uh, I love it for just many reasons. Uh, one of those reasons is because I just love working with kids, um, specifically the younger grades. Though I sure I'm, I'm sure I could do the older grades too, hopefully. Um, but just my mother's been a teacher, my, so has my father and my sister, a couple of my aunts and my cousins. So this is what I've been just really exposed to my whole life. And this is really all I know is teaching. I wasn't really pressured into doing this, but this is just something that I've always felt uh, like uh, this is what I'm meant to do. What are your hobbies? My hobbies, I like to do uh, a lot of hiking. Um, every summer I go to the Rocky Mountains or I'll go to the Appalachian Mountains, which are in the east and the Rocky Mountains are in the west. And I just do a lot of hiking and camping, uh, a lot of outdoor activities. Do you prefer to be a summer camps counselor over a teacher? <laughs> <laughs> I prefer being a teacher. Uh, the summer camp job was great because uh, that gave me a lot of experience to working with kids, seeing how even if this was something I wanted to do too, that was a great job to just even see and get a feel if this is really what I want to do for the rest of my life. Um, but the summer camp job has its place, that's for sure, and I truly enjoyed it. Um, but teaching is, in my opinion, uh, far better for many reasons. What college did you attend? I went to two colleges. I went to Augustana College first. That's where I got my undergrad in, in uh, sociology and a minor in social welfare. And then I went to Concordia University, which is just outside Chicago. It's in River Forest, and that's where I got my master's in elementary education. Do you have a family of your own? Well, I don't have any kids, but I do have a wife, and I, I try to spend as much time as I can with her um, as possible. So I always make sure I set time aside uh, to spend with my wife, Mrs. Kubish. Mm -hmm. Do you want to continue to work at Puffer? Absolutely. How long do you plan to work here? <laughs> Well, this is the kind of place you hope to work for um, the rest of your life, you know, to be a lifer, so they say, to work in the same institution. I've been born and raised in Downers Grove, so this is kind of almost all I know, uh, but this is where I just feel most at home, too, so absolutely, yeah, without a doubt, I'd love to continue teaching here. If you're trapped on a desert island, what would you bring in? why? <laughs> uh, a boat and a lot of gas to get off. <laughs> Can you see yourself becoming a high school or a middle school teacher? Sure. You know, I was, I've, I've worked with middle school students before and I have enjoyed it. Um, but I think what you'll know when you get older is there's just certain things you're good at and there's others that you're just not so good at. Um, my father was great with working with the high school students when he was a guidance counselor over at North High School but I cannot work with high school students. It just doesn't click. So uh, my, yeah, you would say would be just, I'm better with elementary, so I would have to say probably not, probably not, but maybe. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. I love that book. What is your favorite school subject to teach? My favorite school subject? Well, that's funny, because in the beginning of 
when I, when I did my student teaching last year, I really liked social studies. That was my favorite. And then it turned into math. And now I'd have to say currently it's science. So it's always changing. But right now, science. Okay. Thank you for being here, Mr. Cooper. And we hope you enjoy your third grade year. Oh, thanks for interviewing me. I'd like to I would like to fly. I just want to fly. Because it's just really nice to just fly and you could just like, fly with birds and also when you travel you don't have to pay for airfare. Can I ask you a question? If you had any super any superpower, what would it be? You know, if I had a superpower, it would be X-ray vision. Then I could see if any students actually broke a bone when they told me they were hurt. Can I ask you a question? If you had any superpower, what would it be? If I had any superpower, it would be superhuman strength. And why? Why? Because if someone were in trouble or trapped under something, I'd be able to help them by lifting the object off. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? If you had any superpower, what would it be? If I had a superpower, I think I would have the ability to read people's minds, because then I would know how to help them ahead of time. If you had any superpower, what would it be? I think if I had any superpower, I would want to be able to fly. Uh, I would like to be invisible. Why? Why? Because I think it would be really interesting to walk around and see all the things that, all the things and people that uh, you normally can't see. Walk through walls, that kind of stuff would be interesting. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? If you had any superpower, what would it make people happy? And why? Because some people don't like each other, and I wanted to make them if you had any superpower, what would it be? I, I would have the ability to shape shift to anything I wanted to because and why? Because um I could be the ultimate prankster.